Hey guys, what's up? It's PK Mario, and about 10 months ago, I made a video uh, where I talked about finding a real copy of the rumored to be lost video game, Cat Croc. And um, as you can see, it's actually become the most popular video on my channel, with a total of 2,800 plus views. Um, that's actually more than double the amount of my second most popular video, which at some point was my most popular video for the longest amount of time, Torchic Pokemon Card Easter Egg, uh, with 1,600 views, so if you can do the math, then that's twice the amount of views. And I thought, logically, why not just try to make a sequel to that video? So that's exactly what I'm here to do today. Um, now this video has gotten more than 40 comments, and uh, and uh, well, let's just talk about these comments for a second. Um, so some of the comments were just trying to be very funny memes, um, where people say, oh, Kek Croc is my favorite video game character. Oh, Kek Croc should be in the next Super Smash Brothers game. Oh, Kek Croc 5 came out on the Nintendo DS. Um, and, you know, it was funny. I laughed along with some of these comments. But then there were some people who were actually being genuine with what they were saying. There were several people who said, uh, my video was nothing but clickbait and that I should be ashamed for putting out such a video. Uh, there were some people who were saying the game was real. And then there were a few reasonable people who were somewhere in the middle saying, well, Kek Croc could be real, but at the same time it could be fake. And you know what, I'm one of those people who believes, even though I might have seen that uh, copy of the game at that pawn shop several years back, I believe it was sometime in 2014 or 2015, um, I'm willing to believe that it could also be just a game that looked a lot like Kek Croc. Um, and to be fair, there have been a lot of games that I have seen come and go in that pawn shop, some of which I've only really seen once. The guy that even owns this pawn shop says that uh, he's only seen a copy of Super Mario Land 2 once, and at the time that I actually showed him, it, he said that it was around roughly nine years ago, the last time that he saw a copy of that game, and that was several years back, so that's well over a decade ago. Uh, so yeah, there's quite a few games in there that come and go. I've probably seen hundreds if not thousands of games in that pawn shop for the... Um, I'm not even sure how many years that I've been going now. Um, and there have been some games that I've kicked myself for never getting, such as Paper Mario for the Nintendo 64 which at some point I had no interest in getting, and then at another point it was just too expensive for me to buy. Uh, but then I also kicked myself for not getting that copy of Kek Croc, mainly because I did not have a Sega Genesis back then, but had I known that it was a lost game, then I would have picked it up. Then again, like I said before, I'm not even entirely sure if it is, uh, if it was a copy of Kek Croc. Now, Here's the thing, I don't really like these comments where people just jump to conclusions and say, oh, it's real because uh, I said so. There was even one person who claimed to have a copy of the game, and I asked them if they could show it on the internet, and they said, and they pulled the whole excuse of, oh, my camera isn't working. In other words, oh crap, he isn't just taking my word for it, he needs evidence. Now, I know that that's kind of what my Kek Croc video was like, and you might be calling me a hypocrite, um, but at least I had the balls to say in a video that potentially it could have been a copy of Kek Croc, but I'm not entirely sure. Um, and you don't need to have a 4K camera 
to show people that you do in fact have a copy of a lost game. In fact, I use my potato quality iPad camera and that's just as effective, if not even more effective. Okay, who am I kidding? It wouldn't be more effective. Um, there were some people commenting, saying things like, oh, this video is just a meme. This video is just clickbait. Cat Croc is fake. And I actually wanted to respond to a couple of comments that I've been seeing here for some, for at least one reason. Uh, let's see here. Ah, uh, yes. The Mason Gamer and Parker Pro uh, said, This video is a dry meme. You are a dry meme. But in all seriousness, he says he or they, I don't know, said this. This game has been proven to be fake. If it was real, it would have shown up somewhere by now. Okay, now I actually have a bit of a problem with this comment right here. Because I'm not exactly sure what video he said this in, but I do remember hearing L Supersonic Q, the one who, mind you, made, po made Ket Croc popular in the first place, said that um, saying that something is fake just because it hasn't been found yet completely goes against what Lost Media stands for. And, well, the reason why we haven't found Lost Media yet is because it's lost. I know that he didn't quite say it that way, and I can't even remember what video he said it in, um, but I do remember him saying something along the lines of that. People have researched and researched. No way to prove the game is real. Uh, and I mean, you could say that uh, you could say that there's no way to prove the game is truly fake either. And I know some of you are going to be saying, "Oh, but PK, it says Keck in the name, and Keck is something that you say online. And how would how would that have existed?" back in 1993 when Ket supposedly was released. And then he just goes on to say how it's rumored that there was an MS-DOS and a Sega CD version. And there, and you know what? I would like to believe that if Ket was real, chances are um, I'm thinking that maybe it was a prototype build and the whole screenshot of someone actually wanting to buy the game was someone who had heard that the game was going to be releasing sometime soon, so they wanted to get it, but maybe the game was just cancelled. And because there's so many pictures of the Sega Genesis version of the game, or at least the box art, I'm more inclined to believe that perhaps the Sega Genesis version is the only real one that exists. However, because the name of the game is Keck Croc, people just automatically assume that it's nothing more than a meme. So then they just, uh, so then these people, um, so then these people just added on to the rumor, just adding on a whole bunch of things just for the lols. Um, just a whole bunch of stuff that completely ruins any chance of the game being real. Even though I do believe that if the game if the game were named something entirely different, then people probably wouldn't be adding on saying, "Oh, it's for the MS DOS, and it's and it's for and it." Uh, and I remember hearing that it was also on the 3DO and the Sega CD. Yeah, well, at the very most, I would like to believe that it is exclusively a Sega Genesis game. And like I said, I would like to believe that Cat Croc is real but I'm also inclined to believe that the game is fake. I'm more so 50-50, and a lot of people who have reasonable opinions about lost media are the same way. They believe that there is a chance that it is real, but at the same time, they also believe that perhaps it is just complete bull. Um, 
However, there is one person who is very persistent in saying that the game is fake, so much that on one of my Earthbound videos, he even commented saying Kekroc is fake. And even if someone is joking, saying, oh, the game is real, well, of course, young kids don't get that there are sarcastic people on the internet, and thus they take everything at face value. They don't take a... Uh, they don't take more than two seconds to actually think about something. Uh, but there was this one kid um, who actually made a response video. Actually, several response videos. Well, one of them was before my video even came out, and the other was after. Uh, so, Sonic Fan 06 Sonic News made a video called Real or Fake, Cat Croc. And... Uh, you're going to hear a popping noise in a second, that's just me removing my earbuds, so that way you could hear the video. Okay, um, now let's dive right in. So I'm not sure if you can quite hear anything, I know that sure as hell I can't hear anything, but essentially what this kid is trying to say is that Cat Croc is fake. Now I know that you can't hear it because of the loud rock music, and I even commented in the comments saying, can't hear you over the music, to which he says, it's too loud, who thinks Cat Croc is real? First of all, great grammar, considering that you brag about how much smarter you are than me and Knuckles fans. Oh, eh, Knuckles fan videos. And, by the way, Knuckles fan videos did actually comment on this video. Um, but either this kid just got salty and decided to delete all of his comments, or, um, or Knuckles fan was like, okay, I've had enough of this crap, I'm just gonna delete my comments, um, and, uh, well, one thing this kid really likes to call me is a one-year-old, despite the fact that I am older than this kid, and he likes to brag about how he's smarter than both me and Knuckles fans because he wears glasses. Well, guess what, kid? I wear glasses too, see? These are my glasses, so going by your logic, I too am smart. But in all seriousness, glasses do not make you any smarter than anyone else, and neither does knowing how to add 2 plus 2. It's a question that I'm pretty sure anyone who's 2 or 3 years younger than you can uh, solve very easily. Um, I even tell him that you're too young to be on YouTube. You have to be at least 13, but he is not having any of that. Um, and then there is this video. Knuckles fans videos and Pi Mario. Not PK Mario. No, no, no. Pi Mario. I can see that those glasses are working pretty well for you. Are retarded with a capital retard with capital retarded you call me retarded even though you can't spell my name right get that i think cat croc is fake one year old knuckles fan videos of making them believe cat croc is real and that my friends is when you know that uh, that you're speaking to a 10 year old um Uh, but yeah, um, also, is having heavy metal music drown out your voice a must-have for your videos? I could probably hear only t three or four words, none of which were important, to which he said, to which he said, the F word, he dropped an F bomb on me, nice, so I guess your parents aren't, aren't monitoring your YouTube channel whatsoever, um, and I responded with, you're too kind. He probably, once again, got salty and just decided to delete his own comments. 
Um, so, yeah, I believe that there is a chance that Ketkroc might be real, but at the same time, I believe that there's a chance that it might be fake. I guess that unless it's one day revealed, we might not ever know. So, yeah, anyway, guys, that's going to be it for this video. Bye bye